Hi folks, welcome to the death drab that is Oran Park, so let's crack on with a fast lap. Right then, fast lap, done and dusted, and let me show you the info tab. We are using the iRacing Oran Park setup. 86 Fahrenheit, track temp, and a moderate usage of 44% is what I always use for these guides. Now, the lap I'm going to show you is just above my head. Can you see that one? Oh, it's plenty above my head. That's fine. It's a 104.185. Now, that is my second-ish fastest lap, I think it is. We did one here, a 103.9. But that was coming at the end of a stint. So we thought we'll go out with a, with a full tank of fuel and fresher tyres and see what we could do. Because I think it's a little bit more realistic. But yeah, so 104.185 is the one I'm going to show you. Now, this place is dangerous, not going to lie. It's, it's quite a nice circuit, even though it doesn't exist in real life anymore. But taking this thing around here is a big no-no. It will be good in the FF. It's good in the Skippy. It's good in the slower cars, this circuit, to be honest. This thing around here is quite quite sketchy. Um, you may as well not have six gear. I don't think you, you don't ever use it. I don't think even coming down that main straight. Um, you might do actually. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, literally. Um, it, it, yeah, it's it's hills. It's bumps with curbs that you ca they can bottom out the car and unsettle it really nicely. You're not going quick enough to get really good downforce. You're going sort of that mid speed where you kind of tires and aero as well. It's a real pain in the rear. Um. I don't think participation is going to be brilliant, if I'm honest. And uh, if it is, good luck. Uh, get to the checkered flag and survive. That will be my main uh, objective of the night if I do run this circuit. Right, uh, let me show you the split times. We did, uh, apparently, the optimals, a, a 103.6. Oh, 1037, we'll round it up. Um, so yeah, a couple of tenths to find on that, but you can see they're my best times and my best sector times. So you can narrow it down to a sector if you are struggling. But my head will be my Discord, where the OLAP, BLAP, the sheet, and replay file will all be in there for you. So you can see exactly where I did, where I put the car and how I got this lap time. So it will be all in there. Otherwise, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if you do like this video. Otherwise, yeah, let's crack on with the slowdown lap. Right then, Oran Park. This crazy little circuit is quite fun, but as mentioned... With the crazies that normally happen in IRO4, this will be a dangerous circuit to attend, I think. And we are hunting down for turn one, and we're staying on the right-hand side of the circuit, and we're using this green wall. When this green wall ends, that's our brake marker. But be careful of that curb there. Do not go anywhere near it. It will spin you out quite, quite easy, so be cautious. Flick it into turn one, and then as we hit the corner of turn one, brake in a nice, smooth, straight line over to the opposite side of the corner. Turn in nice and easy with this one. The car is very, very slippery. Try and get a late apex about now to try and maximize your exit, but be cautious of the exit curb here on the right because it is very, very short. Bring the car back over to the left-hand side, and we are using the tires conveniently put there as our brake marker. Brake nothing heavy for this one. Second gear around here. Again, don't apex too early because you'll push wide. Mid to late apex, and then feed in the power nice and slowly, and make sure you do not run wide. That curb there is very, very tight, and there is dirt there, so be cautious. Next set, a little tyre barrier there is our little dab brake around here. And this is very, very slippery. So be cautious over the crest. Turn in early. Let the car drift out wide and feed in the power nicely. Once it grips up, you'll feel it. Nail it. As we come up over the bridge, use the bridge as a marker just to kink in. Lift off on the throttle around here. You wouldn't need a double, maybe a double brake on cold tyres, but be cautious of the exit here. Again, it's very, very narrow with grass waiting to pounce. Just before this curb here, a couple of car lengths before it, you want to brake nice and gradually, fourth gear all the way through here, loads and loads of curb, look at my throttle trace, do not feed in that power too much because you don't want to run wide and get an off track or slow down on this little kink, and then we set ourselves up for the next corner by getting over to the right hand side and using this curb as a brake marker, stay in fourth gear, little dab of brakes, loads of apex curb again, but be cautious of understeering here, because again, there is a little bit of curb you can use, but not too much, so be very, very careful. Bear the car over to the left-hand side, and this sort of far chicane is absolutely flat out, so don't worry about it. But we are using these trees as our marker, so when we turn left, where you can see sort of all four of them or whatever, 
turn left and you should be absolutely golden. Coming down to the last corner, which is crucial, there's a dip there. You want to break into the dip, and you can really heavy on the brakes because the front end will dip down and dip. Nice late apex again. When the curb lightens up is when you want to clip that curb. Get on full throttle as early as you can and be careful of that wall coming out to meet you as well. Be careful as well, people staying on this side of the circuit and people entering pit entrance, which is just there. You can rear end someone quite, quite easily. So if someone is in front of you, try and get out of the way just in case they are pitting. But that is us across the line in a 104 uh, 185, which is my second fastest lap. As mentioned, game of survival around here. I think there's a lot of opportunities to spin. There's not many places to overtake either. Um, probably best chances like into turn one, two, and two, and then turn three. But again, there's not many places to overtake. It's quite fast. It's quite treacherous. So you need to be cautious around here. Otherwise, if this did help you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. Do that lovely YouTube stuff, and I'll catch you on the next one.